Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some homemade Mexican style cream cheese and jalapeno bolillos, which it's like a French bread stuffed with cream cheese and jalapenos. This is a big recipe. For this particular recipe, you are going to need eight cups of all purpose flour. Eight cups of all purpose flour. So we have the eight cups right here. We're going to need one egg, room temperature, one cup of white sugar. One stick of butter, soften. It's not completely melted. It cannot be hot. It could just be softened so it can mix into the dough. Two, um, two blocks of cream cheese and a can of the pickled jalapenos. Three tablespoons of the instant yeast. It can only be the instant yeast. It can't be the, the um, self rising one. It has to be the instant. Three tablespoons. Two cups of warm water. It cannot be cold or too hot. It has to be warm, like room temperature. And then a pinch of salt. So let's get started on making the dough. So in my bowl, I already had measured eight cups of flour. Make sure to make it exactly eight cups. And this is all purpose flour. So in goes my sugar. So just pour that right in. That's the cup of sugar. And you can make it um, a sweet dough as well. You would just put a cup and a half of sugar if you want to make like conchas or semitas, which is like another type of Mexican sweet bread. This same recipe makes about 12 bolillos or 12 conchas. So it's a big recipe because it has eight cups. Okay. In will go our egg, but I'm gonna. What I like to do is I like to crack my egg into my butter, so I'm just putting them all in at once, and then we are just gonna stir this up to mix it real good, and everything goes little by little, and this is the easiest recipe um, that you can use for uh, multiple recipes. So this was an original uh, sweet bread recipe that I turned into a bolillo recipe by just reducing the sugar. And I'm gonna teach you guys the secret to making your bread rise even in the winter time. So stay tuned for that secret. And it's a, a little button on everybody's oven. So here's our egg with our butter. Look how nice that came out. It looks already cream. So we are gonna add this slowly. And then what I do is I like to mix up my dough with a spoon or a fork, just so it doesn't get too messy. So remember that's one stick of butter for these eight cups. One cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, and preferably use unsalted butter because you're already going to add the salt. So we are adding that. Now we are going to add the three tablespoons of the instant yeast. Instant yeast, I got this at Smart and Final. This one works the best. Make sure that it's fresh. Fresh is going to provide you the best results. So this takes three tablespoons because it's eight cups of flour. And it's all-purpose flour, you guys. And this makes, again, a lot of bolillos. Or this can be cinnamon rolls. All you have to do is add a, a half a cup more of sugar. So in goes the yeast because this is the instant. We add it straight to the, the flour mixture. So it's three. And this is what activates it. So there's our three. Now comes our two cups of warm water. It's warm, you guys, like room temperature warm. It cannot be hot, it cannot be too cold, or you will kill your yeast. You don't wanna kill your yeast because then your bread won't rise. So little by little, and here comes the good part. We are gonna start mixing it up. See how I mix it up? I mix it up with the spoon. No bread mixer needed. You just got to learn to work with the dough. 
And this is going to be a long process because of the double rising. The double rising ensures that you are going to get the most fluffiest, tenderest, best results. And I'm going to show you my secret on rising in a cold kitchen. So if you guys are practicing with bread dough and rising and you have a problem rising it, there is a baker secret on everybody's oven. And it's called the bread proof button. The bread proof button is going to make your oven the perfect temperature for rising bread. And it's not like turning it on, it's more like just getting it like nice and humid, the, the perfect uh, temperature for rising bread. Now that is my big secret. Meanwhile, let's get to making this dough. So make sure you guys have that bread proof button on. But if you're in, in um, summer, your, your bread will rise perfectly on the side of the counter. Just keep it covered. So little by little, here we go. And it's starting to come together. So every time you make the dough, just make sure to add your ingredients little by little. And you see how helpful the spoon is? All I do is just grab it and just start working at it. And you can add a little bit of oil if you run out of butter. No, no problem. See our dough starting to form. Just go ahead and keep working it. This is the easiest recipe and you guys are going to be so proud of yourself when you guys are done with this. Because I was, I was like, hmm. I was actually making conchas one day, which is the Mexican sweet breads, with this same dough. It just had a little more sugar in it. Then I had a little bit of dough left over. And what I did was I grabbed that dough, I rolled it out, and I stuffed it with cream cheese and jalapenos, and I baked it at 400 for 20 minutes. Oh my God, this recipe was born from there because that was like the most delicious homemade bolillo, fluffy, better than the bakery and everything. So ever since then, I adopted this recipe, and now I'm sharing it with you guys. So it took me several times to work with yeast. So, it took me like three times to work with the yeast until I finally got it. And the bread proof button has been my secret into rising it so fast. Because right now in California, it's winter time. So, you know my kitchen's cold. So, it's harder to rise bread when your kitchen is cold. So, that bread proof button, you guys, top secret. And tomorrow I'm going to be uploading another good video of Chile Colorado, which is like bistec con nopales and red sauce. So stay tuned for that. Yummy. So you see, we have um, little by little, our dough is basically forming. Look how pretty it is. And that spoon, that fork or whatever you want to stir it around with. You don't need no bread mixer, you just need patience. You need patience to work with the dough. Like I said, I failed like three times before I got it right. And my, my fail was never kneading the dough. My fail was always working with the yeast and making it rise. But ever since I learned that bread proof button, it has been so simple since then. But I always recommend you guys to get that spoon to stir it all up until you get to this point. Then, basically, you start kneading it. And like this, it's ready to go ahead and rise. But I like to go ahead and show you guys how to just work with it. Because when you're working with dough, you got to know how to work with it. And like, again, you could take these same measurements and add a half a cup more sugar. And uh, you could add a little bit of... Um, oil to your butter if you want if you ran out of butter and you can turn this into any sweet dough mixture so if you wanted to make cinnamon rolls um, 
like soft fluffy breads, this would work too. But since I'm making bolillos, which is more like a, a French fluffy bread, I reduce the sugar. And it works fine. So you guys, here's this beautiful dough. Nice and pretty. Now like this, it's ready to go in to the rising process. Now this is very important. This is going to be your first rise after. After forming the dough, you must have it rise for about 45 minutes to an hour. It will double in size. That's how you know your yeast is good. So like this, you can go ahead and get it. You don't need to do too much to it. Like a lot of people will take it out and and hit it and put it into shapes. The shapes for this one comes after the first rise. So there's two processes to rising it. Meanwhile, we have our oven bread proofing already. So it's humid in there. It's not turned on. It's just a perfect humidity inside that oven. And then this dough, beautiful, ready, ready to rise. You see this? And that's all done with the spoon. You see that? And look how, look how my hands come out nice and clean. So I recommend that spoon. So we are going to cover it up. You could put a plastic wrap on top of it. And remember, if it's summertime where you are, you can leave it on your counter. But for faster results, the bread proof button right there, depending on your oven, push that bread proof button. Put it in the oven for about an hour and it's going to double in size. We'll come back in an hour and we'll show you the second process on how to shape them and fill them and re-rise them again before we bake them. Stay tuned. Okay, now after an hour in the bread proofing oven, this is how your bread grows in size. So see how it doubled in size and nice and big. And this is how we know it's ready for the second process. So after an hour of bread proofing, it doubles in size. Keep your oven on the bread proofing setting. Very important. We take it out. This is where we're going to start forming them, you guys. So look at this, how nice it is. We are going to start forming them on a floured surface. What I like to do is get a little um, flour on my hands and rub it on my rolling pin. And then I just like to play with these doughs. You need to um, roll them, and they're nice and smooth. This is a very fluffy dough. You can already tell because of how light and soft it is. So, if you were making um, sweet, sweet bread, you would just roll these into balls, and then they basically roll them like this, and then they would set, set them on a flat surface like this, and they would go for a second rise. But we're not making those today. We are going to make the cream cheese bolillo. So here you would get your, if you made the whole recipe that calls for the eight cups of flour, you would need about two 16 ounce things of cream cheese and any type of pickled jalapenos that are sliced thin. So here is the nice dough ball. You wanna get about this size depending on the size of your bolillos. And they're going to double in size, so I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. And then we will start rolling them, and we will show you how easy it is. I'm filming from my phone, and I'm still new at this, so bear with me, but I'm giving it to you step by step. So on a nice floured surface, this is what we're doing. If you need a little bit more flour, just add a little bit to work with it, not too much. 
and just rub it on your hands. And we're gonna roll it into a, a flat surface. And this is literally so easy, you guys. Once you get the hang of this um, bread proofing and working with yeast, again, you have to use the instant yeast and make sure it's fresh. Just go buy it from the store if you had one. I keep mine in the refrigerator so it can stay fresh because it does say to keep it in the refrigerator. If you had one that's out for a while, I would just go buy a fresh one for your best results. So, you guys doesn't have to be a perfect circle or anything kind of like rolling out any pastry or pizza dough whatever this is such a soft dough so if you do that um, proofing right and make sure it rises about an hour it doubles in size and it's nice and good all we're going to do is take our softened cream cheese and then we're going to get as much or as little and you're going to spread it in there and it's good with a lot. And depending if you like the jalapenos, you could do it with the jalapenos, that's the traditional way. But I just want to show you how easy this is. You can put as many or as little as you want. Then you just fold it over. Go ahead and press it down a little. It's almost like a quesadilla. And then you wanna just get a little bit of a knife and cut the slits in there. Just Flatten it out a little bit. If you put um, too much cream cheese, it's okay. As long as it stays in there. You want to just cut it with the knife. Make sure it cuts through. And that's it. We're going to take this. Lay it on the, the pan again. Now they are not ready to bake. We're just forming them. This is... This is the second rise so this is how we do it we're gonna put it on our on our pan and we they're going into the oven again on bread proofing for another hour so we are gonna just make the rest with the rest of our dough follow the same process and literally it's so easy like if you fail just keep trying it's so easy and you're gonna get it and once you get it it's like non-stop. You can do whatever you want with this dough. Sweet bread, cinnamon rolls, and just adjust, adjust the amount of sugar. And then it's literally so easy. So what I do is I dust with a little flour just to make it workable. And I like to put the flour on my rolling pin. And you see how pretty this is? It's like... So soft you could just go ahead and roll it out it's nice and smooth and it should be if you follow each and every step it should be nice and smooth so we are going to roll it out and then follow the same steps and once we have um, all of these in the oven we're gonna bread proof them again for another 45 to an hour. They are going to double in size. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually fold these and make the dough. Any questions, just hit me up, send me a message. So we're gonna make this one a little bit bigger. So we're gonna add a little bit more. We're gonna add a little bit more because I like them um, all the same size. So if you wanna grab 
The size is up to you. So I grab about a fistful like this. This is going to be a very big one, like this size. Just go ahead and start rolling it out. If it gets a little um, sticky on you, just be patient with it. Just dust your hands with the flour and then start working it out. Now again, it's not going to be a perfect circle. It doesn't matter because we're all beginners right here. But practice makes perfect. So if it doesn't come out, just keep trying, but at least you got the basic knowledge down of working with yeast and the bread proofing button saves you so much time and it makes the bread rise perfectly. Again, we get our cream cheese. And you just put it right inside there, spread it. The more the better, if you like cream cheese. If you like a lot of jalapenos, you can just put as much or as little as you want. Just make sure you spread it good so it can close. This one's for my daughter, so I'm not going to put the jalapenos in it. And then you just fold it over like this, just like if it was a, a quesadilla or something. Go ahead and seal it with your hands. Slice Slice some, two slices in there. Make sure it gets through. That's just so I could breathe and get some air. And what we do is we can brush these with a little bit of um, leftover butter that was from um, making the dough. This is just a tiny bit. Get yourself a brush. And then just brush them so they can stay like that. And we're going to make the rest. Transfer it to your tray. Let it rise, and then let's just keep going. And we will put them in the oven and let them bread proof. And then we will show you what they look like when they're ready to bake. So we're going for the second rice. What? Now after you have your bread formed, just follow that step. And again, our, our oven is still on with the bread proofing. We are going to put these in the oven on bread proof for another 45 minutes until they double in size. Then we will be ready to bake them. So I will show you when they are ready and we'll bake them and we'll show you the final product. So I have these laying on um, a tray and bread proof so the oven is nice and um, humid and they are on wax paper sprayed with some um, cooking spray. So go ahead and brush them with a little bit of butter if you want to keep them moist and it just gives them a nice deep brown color. So let's let these rise and then we will come back. Okay and after about a hour in the bread proofing oven this is how they turned out. Doubled in size. Now they are ready to bake. So we are going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees and then we are going to bake these from 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown but not overcooked or undercooked. And then we are going to show you what they look like when they get out. Okay guys and here we are. Final product. After about 17, 18 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees, this is what we come out with. Look at how fluffy this is. Look at, look at this. Doesn't it look like so good? This is what we can make. And look, literally, you can see how fluffy this is. Look at how cheesy and the melted cream cheese and the jalapeno. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and learn. This is literally the easiest and the most delicious, fluffiest bread recipe. And remember the bread proof button. Thank you and if you like it, subscribe.